Bless you, Bruno. Wow, Wally here. Guys, this is the BK62 from Kbar. The backer version of the Cap Heart knife, okay? I've had this knife for eight months. What do I think of this knife? Stay tuned to find out. Guys, there it is. A nice big close up of the knife itself. All right, so it is the Kbar BK62, uh, the Cap Heart knife. What people call the true Cap Heart knife because it is based on an unused version or an unused back or, or Cap Heart knife that. Uh, that gear bar managed to get their hands on. Guys, 1095 carbon carbon crovan steel. The blade length is 12.9 centimeters. Uh, the thickness is 3.2, the height is four, and the total length is 24.3 centimeters. It has a walnut handle, and uh, 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 it retails at roughly 195 pounds sterling, okay? But well, that is not what I am here to talk about today. Nope, not at all. Specifications and stuff like that, guys, I will list down below. It's not something that I delve very, very deeply into when I'm buying knives or when I'm, when I'm testing knives. I'm not into the steel and all the different properties and stuff. And I do like carbon steel. That's about it. Uh, just for the option of sparks from from flint and stuff like that guys the the main concern for me about this knife right I know the question is right and the title is do I like it right I'll get to that the main concern for the for me with these knives is that um, and this is what these this cap heart style knife is 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 the thickness of the handle okay so I've, I've used three this one the SE and the condor okay and the thickness of the handle is something it's something that I consider it's not something that I consider but it's something that is important it's important in the fact that when I put a knife into my hand if it does not feel really nice and comfortable I generally will just put the knife away and, and get something else okay uh, this is a very thin handle as were the other three handles this is not quite this does not feel as bad as the other handles especially the se which was like do not like this gone okay now thanks very much steve mcdermott for lending me this knife to start with to uh so so i could try it out and see how i got on uh do you know as i use this knife the handle thickness did not did not become an issue. It is not something that I noticed after a little while. First impressions, put it in my hand, I wasn't 100% happy with it. Guys, it's a full flat grind, which is something that I'm not normally used to as well. I'm, I, I use a lot of Scandies. This is the only, no, I, I have th two of these type knives and they are the only full flat grind knives that I have, okay? Uh, this knife, absolutely kicks ass i love it i love it <laughs> guys there's tractors everywhere okay there's nothing i can do about that it's the middle of the summer guys i love it this this is one of these knives that makes you want to buy a tomahawk and get a belt pouch and and, and go survive in the wilderness and stab bears and do all that stuff that the frontier men did you know uh it, it it really makes you think more well it did it made me think more about the prim more primitive style of bushcraft as in the frontiers men and stuff like that and you know and flint and steel and 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 bow drills and and all that different stuff you know it is a really nice knife it is just i can't fault it i can't fault it uh the the Right, like it's it's designed, it's rounded on the spine, okay? I did grind it down here a little bit on the spine so that it would throw sparks, but it, it's not, it wasn't that big of a deal, you know? It's, it's, 
it is it is invented for a time when ferro rods did not exist okay so that you know it's not even a consideration uh, the handle is nice it's comfy you know the sheath is good guys it's a full leather made in, made in the USA sheath you know it's I have a dangler on it because I like danglers on, on my knives guys it's 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 uh, it's actually got quite a nice patina now you can see from me basically maybe abusing it a little bit digging it into woods into stumps and, and looking for fat wood and stuff guys since I got this right and I have I have I have to do this a lot right uh, because I am such a fan of the of the uh, the bushcraft the spider Co bushcraft UK which is which is which I love absolutely love that knife so I had to put that knife away somewhere where I wouldn't see it and so I have carried this every single time I've been in the woods I have carried this knife okay and I really really like it okay normally what happens is that when I'm carrying a knife for testing and stuff like that I will get to a certain stage and I'll be like I'm going to take the spider coat today. That hasn't happened with this. I really like this knife. It is a very, very, very capable knife. And uh, I would recommend it to anybody. If you can get your hands on one, go for it. Cool knife. A lot of history in it. You know, the history itself is cool. And, you know, I, I love geeking out and stuff like that as well. So, uh, a lot of history in it. A, a well-proven design, guys works a hundred percent you know k bar make really really good knives this is a knife that if you look after it and don't lose it will last you a lifetime and if it comes to the bit and you are a trapping beaver and something like that and you get attacked by a bear you could possibly possibly defend yourself with this thanks for watching stay frosty